class, let's compute this time for area under the plasma time curve. Now, class, we're, we, um, I'm going to discuss about how to compute AUC. Okay, This is for both intravascular and extravascular route of administration. Now, class, what's important to remember in AUC is that you need a data set. Okay, ano yung data set na yun? That includes the plasma level time curve, obviously, or the plasma level time data sets. So, ano ang plasma concentration at a specific given time? Okay? So, why is it important, class? Why is it important to, to, you know, um, to determine AUC? Because AUC class relates both the rate and extent of drug absorption. So, basically, class, for us to compute bioavailability, you need AUC. So, kung mga ginagamit natin ng AUC class to determine bioavailability. Okay? And as we proceed with the lessons class, you'll figure out, okay, na kapag magkocompute tayo ng bioequivalence, okay, you need to have also AUC because it's a parameter used to assess for bioavailability. So, it measures the amount of systemic drug absorption, okay, uh, from zero to infinite time, right? So it uh, directly relates to AUC. And the units that we use here in class is microgram hour per ml, okay? Now, please take note, class, uh, right now we're just doing, these are the basic, these are still basic pharmacokinetic parameter computations, both for zero and first order, okay? But I want you to give emphasis, class, on first order reaction kasi majority ng ating mga gamot okay, follows first order reactions. Okay. Now, class, how do we compute for AUC? So there are three methods. Okay, we have the counting method, trapezoidal rule method, and blood level equations. Now, obviously, class, okay, we don't use anymore the counting method. Counting method, class, bibilangin mo yung bawat box under AUC. Okay, so we don't do that anymore. The trapezoidal rule method, the class, on the other hand, this is what we often use. This is with the use of um, blood level equations. Or, sorry, this, this, this is with the use of plasma concentrations with their respective time, given ang data na yun. Okay? Blood level equations, on the other hand, class, kinagamit ito for um, theoretical approach. Okay? Meaning, we just simply assume kung ano yung magiging AUC ng isang drug given its volume distribution and the dose given, and so on and so forth. So those kinds of parameters. Okay? Now, for the trapezoidal rule method class, the more data available, the more accurate the estimate will be. Okay? And scarcity of data during the absorption phase and around the peak time will result in an underestimated AUC, while scarcity of the data during distribution and elimination phase will result, will result to an overestimated AUC. Okay? So this is the formula class used for trapezoidal rule method. Now, you might be looking at it and saying, Hala, ba parang ang haba naman yan? Sir, kailangan ko bang i-memorize yan? Kailangan ko bang i-memorize yan? Uh, pag naitindihan mo class kung saan ang galing ang equation na to, di ka may hirapan. So whenever we plot a plasma level time curve, okay? So say for example, this is our graph. Okay? So here we have time and we have the concentration. Lagyan natin ng LN para alam natin na semi-log ito. Okay? Di ba class ba nagpa-plot tayo? Assuming mo na, assuming this is intravenous dose. So obviously, I won't get CP sub zero. I won't get that data. I'll usually get my first data would be here. Okay? So this is my C1. And then C2. And then C3. C4. Concentration 4, ah. And C5. Okay? Then if I trace it back to the x-axis, I'll be able to get the corresponding time. So, kumari, yung, C, yung mga numbers ato class would determine the number of hours. And about one hour, after two hours, after three, four, and five hours. Okay? Now, if I connect the dots, scholar pala. Okay? So, if I connect the dots class, I create here a line. Two, three, four. Now, for me class to get CP sub zero, ano ang gagawin ko? To get CP sub zero class, I'm going to do back extrapolation. So, kuha ulit ako ng ruler. Sabi ko nga, gawa ako ng straight line, trace it all the way back here 
At kung saan tumama yan, yun yung concentration ko at zero time. That will be my initial plasma concentration. Why do I need this class? I need this kasi majority of my computation requires CP sub zero. Okay? Now class, normally, in my, in my case ha, pag nagpapakompute ako class, minibigay ko na yung CP sub zero para hindi tayo mahirapan. Pero in practice, you can actually compute for this. If you can't compute for it class, do back extrapolation. Magplot ka. Okay, I normally use Excel class to determine my CP sub zero para hindi ako mahirapan. Right? But pa akong papakirap if I can use some softwares. Right? Okay, so anyway class, that will be the concentration at zero time. Okay? Now look at this class. Try to look at this. Ano ang determinant sa area under the curve? We're, we're, we're determining the area. Okay? An area. Now class, if you look at this, anong shape ang nabubuo ko? Two parallel sides, two non-parallel sides. Okay? Here's another two parallel sides, while the other sides are non-parallel. So parang itsura niya is ganito. Okay? Anong shape ito, class? This is called a trapezoid. Correct? This is a trapezoid. So now, class, since it's, this is a trapezoid, okay, I can use the equation or the formula to compute for the area of a trapezoid. Kasi puro trapezoids lang naman to eh. Tama ba? These are all just trapezoids. You know, what's the formula, class, for an area of a trapezoid? Okay, ang sabi lang naman dito is y1 plus y2 over 2 times x2 minus x1. Okay? So, tama ba? Okay. So, this is class the equation for the area of a trapezoid. Okay? Area of a trapezoid. Right? So, now class, since I'm dealing with concentrations and time here, palitan naman natin yung mga values nito. Instead, nagmamit tayo ng y. Okay? Sulat natin c1 plus c2 over 2 times T2 minus T1. Alright? So that in itself already computes for the area of one trapezoid. So class, ang tong, itong C1 plus C2 na yan, asan yan? Here's C1 plus C2. So the area of the second trapezoid. Okay, so this is area 2. Kung area 1, Ang formula ko. So, this is number 1. So, ano dapat ang formula ko? So, that would be C0 plus C1 over 2 times T1 minus T sub 0. So, this is my area 1. So, for my area 3, okay? So, paulit-ulit lang to, ha? So, C2 plus C3 over 2 times T3 minus T2. Nagats ba, class? And so on and so forth. So, class, para makuha ko ang total area under the curve, ano lang gagawin ko sa mga results ng bawat area na to? I'm just going to add them all together. Okay? So, looking at this one, class, kita ito, C1 plus C2 over 2 times C2 over T1. So, this is the first trapezoid. Second trapezoid. Third trapezoid. So, ano lang ginawa ko? in ko lang yung summation nilang lahat. Okay? To get the total area or to get the area, uh, total area of the trapezoids involved here. Okay? So that's from 0 to Tx. Kung ano man yung final uh, concentration or time na meron ka. Okay? So are we clear, class? Are we good? So in this case, option 10. Okay. So this is the area of one trapezoid. So, area 1, pwedeng area 1 yan. Ito. Area 2. Ito. Area 3. Tapos, nung gagawin ko? Ipagsasama-sama ko lang lahat. I-add ko lang yung magiging result. Okay? And that's measuring class, the AUC, from 0 time to Tx. Okay? So, AUC from 0 to Tx, class, ibig sabihin, that's 0, in this case, ha, in this example here, up to the 10th hour. Tx refers to your terminal time. It measures class or Tx determines ano ang last 
plasma concentration time parameter or plasma plasma concentration time data na meron ka. Okay? So in this case, I have a plasma concentration on the 10th hour. So that will be my Tx. Okay? Kaya AUC from 0 to Tx yun. So maliwanag ba tayo? Now class, if that's the case now, kung titignan natin ito, uh, sige na, keep muna. Okay, so if we're looking at this, so meaning, uh, let's change color. Uh, I think green siguro. Okay. So from here to here, whoops, di pala mabaha makita. Uh, maybe purple. Okay. So from zero to five on the fifth hour, this is my AUC from zero to TX. If I want to be more precise, that's the AUC from zero to five hours. Okay? Now, most often than not class, ano bang pinapakumpute sa atin dito? It's the AUC. Oops. Ay. From zero to infinite time. Okay? So therefore, class, ang infinite time na yun would be from C5, in this case, ha, C5, onwards. Hanggang sa, hindi ko alam kung ano oras yan matatapos. Infinite time nga eh. Okay? So meaning class, I need to determine yung concentration pa nung kiyataw natin na remaining area. This is called the remaining area. Okay? Yung natira. Ito yung part class na hindi ko na nakunan ng plasma concentration. So dahil hindi ko na nakunan ng plasma concentration, anong gagawin ko? I'm going to assume the value. Right? I'm going to assume the value. So, how do I compute now for AUC from Tx, from this point, to infinity? Madali lang to class. All I need is my terminal plasma concentration divided by K, or the rate of elimination. So are we clear? So in this case class, ano ang terminal concentration ko? The terminal concentration is C5. Kasi yun na yung last concentration na meron ako. What's my K? Hindi ko pa alam. Bakit? Wala pa ako kinukompute eh. Now class, remember, how do we compute for K? To compute for K, sabi natin, and this is first order process. Okay, please take note. We're using first order process for AUC. Sabi natin yan, di ba? Is LN C sub 0 minus LN kahit anong concentration over its given time. Okay? Are we good? Okay. Now class, pwede ito. This is one, this is one equation that we can use. Or, okay, my, uh, this one class is usually used um, actually, everywhere naman. Kinagamit ito. So, K equals ln C1 plus, ah, sorry, minus ln C2, or C2 minus ln C1, mas absolute value to ha, over T2 minus T1. Okay, na baka tanongin nyo ko, sir, saan naman nanggaling yung formula na to? Saan nanggaling yung formula na yan? Nanggaling yan, class, sa formula ng slope. So, class, ang formula kasi ng slope, you can still remember, m equals x2 minus x1 over, I sorry, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? So, yan yung formula for a slope. So, therefore, class, gagawin ko lang siyang first order process. Lalagyan ko to ng natural log. At i-convert ko yung mga data na meron ako dito. So, instead of y2, I'll just put, ln c2 minus ln c1 over, ano x2? t2 minus t1. So meaning class, I can use any point of the line, kahit wala akong c sub 0, to compute for k. So to compute for the k of this one class, ang gagawin ko lang would be ln. Usually class, I prefer to use the last two concentrations. I will suggest everyone to use the last two concentrations when computing for k, uh, when we're computing for AUC. Okay, if you're given, actually, if you're given any data sets, if you're given any data sets class, use the last two. Bakit? Kasi ulitin ko, nasa equilibrium na yan, most likely. 
Okay, nasa ready reach equilibrium. So, very stable na yung pag-eliminate ng drug na yun. Okay? So, this will be LNC2. Well, obviously, LNC5 uh, pala, sorry, minus LNC4 over 5 minus 4. So, whatever that data will be, that will be my K. Okay? Okay, so yun ang magiging K ko. So, that will be computing for AUC from Tx to infinite time. Now, class, ang sabi ko nga, ang kailangan natin dito is the AUC from 0 to infinite time. So, how do I compute for this? Simple. Just add. Yung na-compute natin. Uh, AUC from 0 to Tx plus A AUC from Tx to infinite time. So, ipagsasama ko lang silang dalawa. Okay? And what remains now, class, would be the AUC from 0 to infinite time. Now, the higher the data here, the higher is a drug's bioavailability. Kaya nga, class, pag ginawa natin ito, okay, usually, I'll, ask you, I'll be asking you to compute for two separate plasma data concentrations. Tapos tatanoyin ko, which of, the two, which of the two drug was absorbed more? Is it drug A or drug B? Okay? So, depending on na makukumpute yun na AUC class, masasabi ninyo, therefore, kung sino mas na-absorb. Okay? Which of those drugs had better absorption? So, are we clear? Okay. So, yun lang naman kasi yung remaining area, or what we call the rest area. Ito yun. So, paano siya kinocompute? It's just the terminal concentration divided by your K. And again, class, K is computed using the last terminal concentrations. Okay? With their respective time. So, dinagdag ko ito. Sabi ko mamaya kung ano yung susulat ko dito sa board ko. Kasi ito yung nangyayari sa utak ninyo. Right? So, I hope hindi naman. Okay. Allow me now. Woohoo! Yan na. Allow me class to compute. Give you a sample of plasma level or of an AUC pala. Computation of an AUC following an IV route of administration. Now, how did I know class this one's IV route? Okay? Alam niyo, paano ko nalaman? Because at zero time, ano ang concentration ko? It's already at its highest, 9. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, class, binigay ang gamot intravenously. So, I don't need to plot this anymore. Pero kung nakita mo dyan, class, at zero time, zero din ang concentration, okay, zero ang concentration, right? Ibig sabihin, class, ano ang route of administration? It's extravascular. Okay? So, the answer class na makukompute dapat natin dito is 52.1576 or 52.16 microgram hour per ml. Okay? Now, I'm going to show to you class a technique that I usually use para hindi ako malito. So, back when I was in college class, when we computed for AUC, binibigay sa amin ng teacher namin mga tatlong drug, tatlong data sets. Tatlong ganito. Tapos mano-mano ang computation dyan. Walang Excel noon. Hindi uso ang laptop ng panahon ko. So, therefore, uh, kailangan namin gumawa ng sarili namin technique. So, nag, na, nakagawa ko ng sarili kong technique. Okay, I was able to make my own technique. So, balikan natin class. Ang kailangan natin dito would be, ay, mali. Okay, palitan natin ng color. Let's make it maybe black. Okay. Alright. So, first off would be AUC from 0 to Tx. Okay? So, sabi natin class, ang formula for the area of a trapezoid would, or ang, ha, for an area class is C2, sabi natin, area. Okay, C2 plus C1 divided by 2 over T2 minus T1. So, that's the formula for an area. Okay? In my case class, para hindi ako malito, ang ginagawa ko, chinachap-chap ko yung equation na to. What do I mean na chinachap-chap ko? Okay? Hiwalay kong kukompute ito, T2 minus T1, hiwalay ko rin kukompute ang C1 plus C2 divided by 2. Kasi class, in a table, if I'm given a table here, I can actually do C2, C1 plus C2, or C sub 0 plus C1, plus divided by 2. Kasi lalagay ko sa gilid yung answer ko. Pati yung T2, Minus T1 here. Lagi ko sa gilid. Para hindi akong malito. Okay? So, gawin muna natin to. Right? Oops. Okay. 
So, parang large ang ating, yan, sulat tayo dito. So, pointer options, again, in color red. So, sabi natin, class, ang formula for area is equal to C2, ah, oh, sorry, C, tapapin naman, C2 plus C1 over 2 times T2 minus T1. Okay? So, I'm going to do here is 9 plus 8.21. Isasay natin yan. Parang di tayo mali ito. 9 plus 8.21 will give you 17.21 divided by 2. Kailangan yung divide by 2 na yan. So divided by 2, you get 8.605. So ubusin muna natin to. Next, 8.21 plus 7.87 8.21 plus 7.87 Plus, huwag nagkamali ako, sabihan nyo agad ako, ha? Okay? Minsan nakakalito pa rin to, pero this one is the easiest. So, divided by 2 Sabi ko nga, diba? Hiwalay natin ito dito. So, pagsasama na lang natin sila mamaya. Okay, you get 8.04 Next, 7.87 plus 7.23, you get 15.1 divided by 2 equals 7.55. Okay. Next, 7.23 plus 5.15, 7.23 plus 5.15. That would give us 12.38 divided by 2. 6.19. The next, 5.15 plus 3.09. 8.24. Divided by 2 will give you 4.12. Okay? And then 3.09 plus 1.11 give you 4.2 divided by 2. 2.1 and then 1.11 plus 0.4 was 1.51 divided by 2, you get 0 0.755. Okay. So now, class, para malaman ko kung tama ba ang pinagsusulat ko, dapat ang total number of datas that I have here, minus 1 dito. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 data sets. Dapat yun na-compute ko 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, we're good so far. Okay, so dito naman tayo. T2 minus T1. So obviously, this is 0 0.25. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25. 0 0.25 pa rin. 1 minus 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 1 minus, at uh, 3 minus 1. 2. 6 minus 3. 3. 6 minus, 12 minus 6. 6. 18 minus 12, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, goods pa tayo. Right? So, now class, what's the next thing na gagawin ko? Pagsama-sama ko sila. Okay, lagay natin isang tabi dito. So, para lang visually makita ninyo ang difference, okay, lagay natin ng konting label. Sabi nga nila, mga pharmacist, magaling maglagay ng label. Tama nga ba? Sa lahat ng bagay. So, yung trapezoid 1, trapezoid 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there are a total of 7 trapezoids in this given data sets. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, so I have 7 trapezoids here as well. Okay? Okay. So now, ang gagawin ko na lang, imumultiply ko yung data nito 
this data here with the data here. Pagkasama ko sila. Okay? So, saan tayo magsusulat? Dito na lang? Ay, sorry. Dito na lang. Yes, I want to keep it. Okay? So, we have here area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we have 8.65, so at kung mato ha, 8 point, oh my god, 0, 04, 7.55, laki ako nga muna, I can't see it, okay, tama, alright, ang number 4 is 6.19, 4.12, 4.13, Zero point seven five five. So times, 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 times. Zero point twenty five. Zero point twenty five. Zero point five. Two. Three. Six. Six. Equals. 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 Ano ang mga sagot? Parta na na color. Blue, hoy. Black pa rin. Ito na lang. Ito na lang. Okay. Alright. So, 8.65 times 0.25. 8.65 times 0.25. We have 2 point. 1, 6, 2, 5. Open times class, pag nagkocompute tayo lang ganito, huwag muna tayo mag-round off, ha? Hanggat maaari. Okay? Kung mag-round off ka, na, ba, na, masikip na sa papel mo, hanggang at least 4 decimal places. As much as possible, try to avoid. 8.04 times 0.25. We have 2.01. Uh, 7.55 times... Ay, ano yan? 0.5. We have 3.775. 6.19 multiply to your 2. We get 12.38. 4.12 times 3. Yakita nyo gano'ng kadali ito pag nasa Excel. Pero again, uh, hard math muna tayo. Lahat naman ng pharmacy dumadaan sa ganito. Times 6, 12.6, and then 0. 0.755 times 6. That will be 4.53. So how do I get my AUC from 0 to TX? I just add everything. Okay? So add lang yan. Uh, 2.1625 plus 2.01 plus 3.775 plus 3, ah, 12 pala, 12.38 plus 12.36 plus 12.6 plus 4.53 equals we have 49.8175 microgram R per ml. Now, class, hindi pa tayo tapos. Nasa AUC from 0 to TX pa lang tayo. Kasi ang next na i-compute natin would be AUC from Okay. So, ang next kasi natin is AUC from TX to infinite time. And sabi natin, ang formula dyan would be Cx over K. So, the terminal concentration divided by the K. So, right now, class, I don't have K. Okay, wala akong K. So, nalagawin natin, we need to determine the K. So, as I told you a while ago, the formula for K simply was derived from the formula of a slope. So, M. Okay, so in this case, class, that's K equals to, again, sabi ko, use the last terminal, the last concentrations. 
So that would be LN, concentration on the 18th hour, minus the concentration on the 12th hour over 18 minus 12. So what's the concentration on the 18th hour? LN, 0 0.4. Plus absolute value to, okay, magalala. Okay, this will always be absolute. Balik rin na lang to, pero plus absolute value lag yan. Okay, hindi siya pwedeng negative. LN.4 minus LN.1.11. LN Divided by, so 12 minus, 18 minus 12 will give you 6. Okay? So, shift LN. Ayun ba? LN. 0.4 muna para isa-isay natin class. So, natural log of 0.4. Okay. So, uh, ayan ba yan? LN 0.4. So, that will give you negative 0 0.9163. Minus LN 1.11. Zero point one zero four four divided by six equals okay point four minus L M four one have oops wait lang negative one point zero two zero seven divided by six okay that will give you negative zero point one seven zero one now please take note class ah sabi ko lang ulit this should be um uh, absolute value okay Kasi, balik lang ang pagkakalabel ko dito. Pero, technically class, it will just be the same. So, it would still be 0 0.1701 per hour. Basta ang K mo should always be positive. Okay? At magsasubtract ka sa dalawang to. Okay? So, pwede naman. Subukan natin. LN 1.11 minus LN 0.4. The answer would still be divided by 6. Still the same, 0 0.1701. Okay, kahit balik ta rin ko yung, ano, basta positive value to. Okay? Kahit pagbalik ta rin ko yung LN 1.11 minus LN 0 0.4. Okay, you'll still get 0 0.701 per hour. So that's the K. Okay, now that I have my K class, we can proceed now to the computation here. So what's my terminal concentration? It's on the 18th hour, and the concentration is 0 0.4. Divided by 0 0.1701. And the answer would be 0.4. Divided by answer. 2.3514. This is microgram hour per ml. All right? Okay. So now, class, let's compute. Salta ko na yung color nito. And where is the coding dark? Okay. AUC from 0 to infinite time. So that's simply 49.8175 plus 2.3514 equals 49.8175. That you give you an answer of 52.1689. Okay. The ground of kasi somewhere ako. But anyway, class, close enough. Microgram hour per ml. So kung two decimal places lang, class, that would be 52.17. Okay. 16.17, pwede na. 
right? So pretty much the same, right? So it's pretty much the same.